So when we drop down into uh, an area to look for elm mushrooms, we get into the woods. In the Midwest, one thing we look for is the elm. You can also find them in apple orchards, decaying woods. I found them in pine trees on the edges. But for instance, uh, this elm here, this is exactly what you want to look for. You get in the woods, look for the dead trees. There's another dead elm standing up right there. And get under those trees and look for morels in in different directions. Because say you're picking a bunch of morels, you go through. Well, if you turn around and come back through the other way, you get a different direction. You can see things that you missed. Always leave a few for uh, spores. And uh, hopefully next year and the following years, you'll continue to find morels in the same locations. Here, I'm just in the ditch of a road. You can hear the vehicles up top. Again, comes down into just a blanket of elms and uh, ash, maybe some box cider. I'm gonna look up the hill. You can see another one right there. So just in a couple minutes here, we've picked, oh, a half a dozen. And these here that we're finding, these are the early grays. There are a few of the small white and yellows, but uh, they come on first before the uh, big large yellow morels start to come out. Now here's another dead elm. It's real close. The road's right there. The thing about morel mushrooms is you can uh, find one or you can find a couple hundred. Three nice ones right here. Two more right there. Um, hard to see up there but up there close to the road there. Zoom in. Another nice uh, big uh, morale. These are all fresh. They just come out. The advantage of these, it's been a cold wet year. Uh, they get the sunshine. There's not much coverage here, as you can see. So I just want to uh, wish you good luck and we'll keep going as we find more morale mushrooms.